Okay, y'all, welcome back. It's Big Al. Uh, this time around, we're going to check something out. Uh, we're going to try using this Leashy Key Cutter to duplicate a key that's going to work in this deadbolt. Uh, now, this is the original key. Now, I mentioned this on a previous video. I was going to do this. Um, this is not, if you've got a, a key duplicator, a key cutter, this thing's not going to be no match for that. But I'll tell you what, when you learn how to use it, uh, you ruin a few keys learning how to use it. You can cut a damn good key. I can make copies um, really, really good. As long as I have the key, obviously, to copy, um, I can do a pretty good job with that thing. It works really, really good. So this, again, this is the original key. Get a good uh, look at those cuts on that. That's what they look like from the factory. Got the other side. So you can see that real good. That is the key for this lock. This lock is original in its original shape. It hasn't been modified. Throw the bolt, unlock it. So there it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this blank key. Now this is a KW10. You can use a KW1, a 4, this 10. Really doesn't matter. It's going to fit the lock. It's going to work. So it doesn't really matter. I just happen to have a bunch of these, so I don't care if I ruin them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the key, original key, over the top, line it up best I can by eye, and I'm just going to vice grip it, if I can get it lined up right. The hardest one, oh, I wanted to point something out, the hardest one is going to be that, that one cut. You see that one cut right there? If you take, turn the key around, on the key bone right there, it's got the cuts. Two, one, three, three, five. That's the cuts on the key. Two, one, three, three, five. And we can verify that with this cheap little, on the top here are the key cuts. And then you got the pin cuts there, or the pin numbers there. So you just slide the key in, don't force it. Slide the key in, first cut is a two, one, three, three, five. So that's how you work that. So again, back to the key. I'm going to lay it over the top of this dude here. And again, line it up as good as we can. Now this is a trial and error type thing. Um, yeah, that's why when I buy uh, blank keys, I tend to buy a bunch of them because you're going to ruin a few keys. Uh, it's going to happen. It's not that big a deal. Uh, they're not that expensive, so I don't worry about it too much. Okay, I'm going to try and line this up a little better than that. Okay. Line the bottom up. I'm trying to see where I'm at. Let me see. All right, so that... That seems to be pretty good right there. All right, so we're lined up pretty good. You see how I did that? Where the stop is, right there, at the key bow, and then I've got my cuts right there. So now I'm simply going to take my leashy key cutter. I'm trying to do this. I've got the camera between me and the object here, so it's kind of in the way. All right, so I'm going to take the leashy key cutter and start off with this first one back here. Now, if you notice the uh, shape on this leashy key cutter, it fits Schlag much better. Let me grab a Schlag key right here. It fits these Schlag keys a lot better. You see that shape? It's almost identical to those cuts. Now, when you're cutting the quick set, the quick set cuts, let's try and get it on the camera good. Quick set cuts are wider. You see this? 
they're wider. So all I do, I just do two cuts on it. I go to one side, go to the other side. Just like that. Now this one is going to be tough because there's hardly any key there. So I'm just going to nip it and hope it works. Just like that. All right. Next one. Again, all the way to the side because I got to do two cuts. Back to the other side. All right. Now we're going to nip that off. Next cut. The other side of the same cut. And then moving on to that deep one at the end here. Just like that. And then the second cut on that same one. Now I'm going to nip off the center. All right. Now I'm going to kind of just clean it up a little bit. Because luckily for me, this leashy key cutter is nice and sharp. Alright, I think I'm happy with that. I'm just concerned with that one cut. Okay. Let's get it out of these vice grips or locking pliers. Okay, let's take a look at our key. That's the original, <clears throat> excuse me, that's the original cut. This is the one we just made. You see how good that looks? You put them side by side here. You got the original and the copy we just made with that, with the leashy. Looks pretty good. Let's look at the other side. Line them up. You see how well that works? That's some pretty good cuts there. Considering. Now you can clean it up with a wire brush or something. I just usually use a little piece of sandpaper and just kind of give it a little once over. It's not that big a deal. Now if I did it right, it's going to work. Here we go. Boom. How's that? Pretty good for a handheld key cutter. Works just like the uh, original one does. Where'd I put it? So that's it. That's how I use the leashy key cutter to copy keys. I'm going to get a close up on that again so you can see how well that works. Look at the cuts. So pretty good, right? So there it is. That was done with the leashy key cutter. I believe I picked this one up off of Amazon if I remember right. But that's it. I hope you all like that. I hope it helped you out. Again, this is no match for a, a key machine, a key duplicator. But I'll tell you what, if you can't afford a duplicator or just don't have room for one or don't want one, this will do you. It'll get you by. All right. I hope that helped. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. If you like this video, hit that button that looks like this. Thank you very much.